And I tell her say goodbye Yeah, I'm in my zone, yeah, they asking how I do this Right up in a whip, yeah, I hit it, now I'm moving Speaking my own language Five oh. seconds, five seconds, go! Break it! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the car, we're traveling today. You can see here, uh, we got five hours and 42 minutes. Uh, we're gonna arrive at 1 a.m. and we're going to Ames, Iowa. You guys might know the man David Carr. Well, you can say the Clash of Combat pod. We're gonna get a nice light, nice little scrap in with him. But regardless, it's gonna be a great time. There's actually four Parkside wrestlers there right now that have been like kind of training there for the past couple days. It's kind of a nice cool thing, but it's gonna be a good time and uh, let's get to Iowa. It is 1 a.m. and we made it to Ames, Iowa. Um, five hours and 40 minutes. Uh, we made it to the, this nice little apartment complex. Yeah, let's go in here and let's get some sleep. You heard it? You heard it? Yeah, hey. how's it going? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. How you doing? What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. David, we're at the crib. Got a little tour? Yeah, let's go. So this is just the living room, obviously. A lot of things going on right now, but this is like the RTC housing, so we get to live here for free. But that's cool. They just set you up with this place, and you just get the yeah, get the job. So you chill here, you can live here for free, and it's a nice setup. And then uh, there's a basement this is upstairs, and then this is my room. Oh damn! And then uh, I got my own bathroom, so I got my bathroom here. Ooh, is that some some vision stuff? Yeah, I got some um, some stuff on the wall. Some stuff, so like, this is my best friend, Dan. There's Brooks, AB, my mom, me and my siblings, my dad in college, one of my high school coach. I got some quotes on here, things like that. It's a walk-in closet. It's not the cleanest right now, but <laughs> it oh, yeah, the job. Nice. Some more goals and stuff, some goals on the wall. TV, you Play some Xbox and things like that. What game you play? I don't really play too many games, but I'll play like Fortnite or I'll watch some TV. I got like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and then yeah, some more pictures of my dad. Um, some things on the wall. Got my degree. Some titles over here. They give you the bands for the nationals after you wrestle. They Oh, yeah. too, so that's cool you get to keep those wait if you win you get to keep like the ankle bands well i think or you just you, i think everyone gets to keep them. oh so, like, got it got then it. you don't think you have to win but i think you get a red one green one i think you get to keep them get to keep mine from this year bunch of books i like to read um most of those books i've read there's maybe a few i haven't finished yet that's it that's the room oh and the uh, and the belt yeah they, this is from the ufc fight pass this thing's pretty cool it seems actually pretty heavy you have to check that out is it Oh my gosh, it's like 30 pounds. Yeah, this thing's like <laughs> legit. It's kind of cool. That's about, that's about it. That's some room. That's a dope setup. O'Toole's your daddy. Yeah. Like you'll never beat him. O'Toole's our glorious king. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? Hey, I know you guys are super excited to watch the rest of this. Trust me, it's an amazing video. One of my favorite videos of all time. But I just dropped my merch. It's finally out. You can check out at the link in the description. We got two merch pieces. The oldest sport one has been the most fan favorite by far. This is a phenomenal way to support me. And you guys can save 10% off by using code Caden directly, of course, helps me. So if you want one of these pieces, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to the vid. All right, guys, I'm here with David. Car, he's gonna show us the facilities a little bit over at Iowa State. Um, super excited to see it. Yeah, let's so, go. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is where all the magic happens. This is the home of the cyclone. The home of the cyclones. This is kind of like the athlete entrance, and you need like a little car to get in. This is our training room right here. Wow. This is where, uh, what the heck is this? So in there, you can like, it's like a recovery, it's hydro work. So like, when I hurt my ankle, I had to like start. I couldn't walk yet, so I had to work on walking in there. And then you start running. Sometimes like track athletes, they run a lot and you can get a lot of stress fractures. So sometimes they'll do literally like like 15 or 15 miles in there. And that it's less pounding on your sure. knees, less pressure. How often do you utilize yeah. like an Person. ice bath? Do you uh, utilize it much personally? Yeah, like yeah. During season probably every day. Really? Yeah. This is where our, like you come and get your gear. So you look for your name. Got a lot of <laughs> little <clothes. laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, I've been working out. Oh wow, this is, I've never known that like this like kind of existed over here. I'll kind of show you, I'll walk you guys through there first. Sure. Do you guys do the rock climbing wall for training at all? For like a little, It's like good, a it's actually super good for grip strength and we mess around with it, but we don't, during season we don't, but 
as season, like right now is a good time. So like this is where the track kind of like the track team works out. As you can see, there's a volleyball game going on right now, but they do all their workouts and all their stuff right here. You guys have practice in here too, right? Sometimes? Yeah. So this is where we work out. This is this is also where we get some good training in. Oh boy. So yeah, this is so during the summertime to change it up, dresser. <laughs> like we have our restroom, room, but yeah. this is like in the summer we just train here the whole time. Dresser likes to switch it up just because we're always in there. Like through this glass, and you can look through here. This is like our little ATV. Like we'll use this for like campus tours, and we use it for other stuff. Oh shit! Can you see that? Yeah. Wait, anybody on your team can drive that? No. Oh. The coaches. <laughs> <laughs> the coaches. The coaches and stuff like drive it. Uh, I don't think. I think Chittum's in here. Let me check who's in here. Yeah, just. But yeah, this is a locker room. Let me check who's in here. Make sure no one's like. Slow mo the code so you guys can break in. All right, you come in. Awesome. Let's see it. So yeah, this is uh, this is the locker room area. Yeah, there's nothing too fancy, but one thing I do like is just uh, we all kind of hang out in here. Everyone has like their own different thing. Like Savage during 65 days, single leg, that's probably what he's focused on. NCAA Big 12 champ, certain people have their goals up and stuff. This is Frost Locker. As you can see, he's a little bit cleaner, has everything folded. Sunday weirdo. On Sundays, when everyone's like kind of chilling out, kind of relaxing, um, these guys come in and they hit a hard, hit it hard on like a run, hard drill, hard something, and they kind of work out and they're always in here. So like to be a Sunday weirdo, you have to be kind of always in the room, mm -hmm. always grinding, always running. So yeah, there's a bunch of different little things. This is what my locker looks like a little bit. Ooh, these not, are the, not the, the rare ones, huh? Yeah, I have to wear these when uh, I'm doing a little video. <laughs> these are fun. Yeah, that's my locker. This is also my locker. I get two, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Dang, you're just, you're just, they, they you're just him. Up. Yeah, I don't, they just gave me two, I don't know why. Well, each national title you get another locker. Yeah, each another national locker. title you get, you get a locker that's here at nice. Iowa State. So yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. Sure. Locker room, some guys are a little bit neater than others, some guys not so much. So yeah, <laughs> that's the locker room. Here's the weight room. This is uh, track. Track will use the weight room and gymnastics will use it and wrestling. Are you a big shot guy in the weight room? Sometimes if I'm doing like a heavy pull up. What was the most like pull you've pull ever up? got? I don't know, I think the most I've ever gotten is 50. 50? Like just right in a row, I don't know. Like Good form? They weren't like super, yeah, super yeah. clean, but they were like not terrible. Right, that's fair. This is kind of the weight room. I like it. All right, this is uh, the man, the myth, the legend, one of the goats. His name is Finn Durbin. I've been talking about him a little bit. This is the guy. <laughs> when you see me looking strong in my singlet, see me lifting people up, this is the guy that helps me do that. What's up, man? You in a meeting? We'll be quiet. <laughs> we'll look at, look at this wall, this is sick. So how many, I guess, days a week are you lifting? Like, and he, he makes all your schedules for yeah. all your lifts? Yeah, so he'll individualize the, the weight. Like, certain people need different things. Like, if you're cutting a lot of weight, you're probably gonna do a little bit different stuff. But if you're trying to gain weight, then you're gonna lift maybe four or five times a week. And then if you're like in that middle range, maybe two or three times a week, and he'll, you'll go in there, he'll write you out a schedule. And then we have like, he'll put on the board like what our team lift is. Mm -hmm. um, usually that's like kind of summertime, we lift really heavy. I'll tell you one thing, I know for a fact your strength, I don't know, you do the Nordic curls? Yeah. Like it's nothing? Those I've been I've been training it. I can't. There's no way I'm even getting like close. I mean, I might be getting close, but as you can do it, that's how you know if you're a crazy athlete. Let's try it. Let, let's let's yeah, let's, do it. It. let's let's try do it. it. When I first got here, I'm not even joking. Like I couldn't do it when I first got here. I've actually never even seen someone do it like in person. I don't think I could look. I, <laughs> I'm rusty. I can, He's on the spot. I could try one thing. Here, is, here let, let me go first. Let, let me go first. Okay. Yeah, can, I, we so, can kind of base that off of the. So my form just. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of hinge and just, like, yeah. So what we do is, yeah, you want to do it with the back, try to back of your hand. That's how you kind try of get used to it. Here, I'll show you. So then you would go down and then you just press off the back of your hands. Oh, And then like it. a full one, like we used to do where we just touch your nose, where you just go here, Holy touch shit. your nose. Oh my oh. gosh. Dude. And that one wasn't like perfect. I could do it a little bit better, but. Hey guys, try this out, the Nordic Curl. It's, it's, it's insanely hard. Who's using the 175 pound dumbbells? The funny story about this is Durbo ordered like more of weights because uh, we were in the Iowa wrestling room and they only had it up to like 70. So 
We just got 175. Wow. <laughs> that's, Isn't that funny? Well, that is good. You, this you, is you can pick it up. Try to pick it up. No. What? <laughs> you can do it. You were strong to, enough. I won't be able to put it back down or put it back up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can you get it? Don't hurt yourself, actually. I will say. Yeah, I don't know what I could get up. This is 165. I will say I did curl this bad boy. <laughs> yes. What is this? I did one. I rode it. Dobro was like, you need to get the whole weight class in the palm of your hand and row it. And I did that before I went 165. And then that's when I went, went like I was 157. Rode this bad boy, and I was like, all right, I'm going 165. <laughs> so it's like, every time it's like, Keegan's on the floor. <laughs> I was like, you got to be able to pick it up. <laughs> This is kind of the back way to the sure. restroom, but this is uh, our lounge area. The posters. Oh yeah. So yeah. Definitely some important conversations in these chairs. This is where we have all our important meetings. So wait, you were probably sitting right here, and then you were you were you had dresser, and you're like, how do we get Crosby Slasher to commit <laughs> to <laughs> Iowa State? I was like, dude, how do we get this guy? <laughs> Without further ado, this okay. is the. This is the, the rest of the room. Been for. Again, we got weights in here. We got a bunch of weights and stuff. Jacob's ladder. Mm. Some benches. Oh, record push ups 20. You can get 20 push ups, you get a record. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's not a record. That's just a workout. <laughs> this thing is yeah. rope, so that, that rope thing. Okay. We should actually see how many you can do. So there's a line and you pull it. Yeah. That's something we do. And so the record right now, the best you can get in a minute. It's 13. 13. I've actually tied that. I'm at 13. Really? So I didn't put mine on there because I'm tied. That's so if you break that, I'll put your name up there. <laughs> I'll tell you it? what. It, it's a good day to break a record. All right. It's a good day to break Let's a record. It. Wow. This is awesome. I'm not even joking. I actually want to see what you can get. This is going to be interesting. Oh, and it's heavy. You too. can do like this, or you can do big pools. What it's do you a, think is the best strat? Just this. Right here. Really? And boom, that's one. One. That's good pace. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Seven. Nine. Seven. Oh What's the time? Keep going. Keep going. Ah. You must make it. You ah. must make it. Go. Where are you at? You're 11. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 12. Go. Go, you're going to break it. You're going to break it. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. 13. Go, 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 go. go. Five oh. seconds. Five seconds. Go. Break it! Ah! 14, I think that's 14. Break it, Sasso. I think you broke the record. No, it was not. I think you broke it. No. <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. I think you broke it. Can we yeah. go back and watch? Are you serious? I, I might have miscounted. Well, it was 12. <laughs> yeah, we went. <laughs> I lost count because Crosby was like, look at the time. And I lost count. Yeah, so he got, he got 12. That's still... That's impressive. I'll, I'll have to come back and. That uh, was impressive. I'm not gonna thank lie. You. <laughs> so then, yeah. So like, they use a different one. This was. That's the year I got second. So they use like a different picture. And then Coleman, we both all all American that year. And then, uh, you can see the blonde hair. That's Evan Frost. Anthony, With the frosted tips. Anthony, Anthony Mendia. He got fifth. You got Swiderski, all American, and then that's the new. That's cold. The new uh, lol. Banner thing. This is a wrestling dummy. What's the name of the dummy? This guy better watch it. <laughs> I like this one a little bit better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I bet you've never taken that him down. I haven't. I still. <laughs> he's the only one in the wrestling room I haven't been able to take down yet. What? What's? What's the countdown? Nationals, but it's broken. Oh <laughs> dang it. it. <laughs> during season. During season, it, it's right. But as so season, in season, like you're practicing and you know exactly when nationals. Yeah. So it's like is. Three, it'll say like. 150 days till nationals or wow. 200 days till nationals and then each day it will go down and then like we'll be like dresser will be like look we got 10 days till nationals you have to be your very best have your best practice now have your best training and uh we'll kind of talk he'll talk about the countdown that's the uh wrestling room and Dang. our facilities let's go cool. maybe we'll do, uh, do a little wrestling in here and see how bad he beat up crosby let's do it <laughs> crosby get ready <laughs> now <sighs> Well guys, this is pretty amazing and I'm gonna debut um, the new shoes. This is the next colorway. So it's the all white and gold signature on there. And uh, you know, these are, these are zippered and I don't have any laces in them. Slip your foot on in. First time I'm ever practicing them. Look at that, one shoe's on. Being in this room, it's just so cool being able to travel and do these things and you know, being 
you know, having this opportunity with David and just to basically see what's up, have him show us around and scrap a little bit. And it's just really cool. I'm really grateful for this. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm super excited, but uh, let's get some wrestling in. That's feeling good. You think he's escaping? Easy, easy. No, that was terrible. That was that was terrible technique. Just tell me what's at stake. I gotta get out on bottom, and who better to get out on bottom on than this decent wrestler? All right, bottom set, top cover. Two cautions and you're out. Set, wrestle. <laughs> Up. Now we're warmed up. Uh, how you feeling now, Slush? Oh, better than ever. <laughs> I'm transferring. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Go. Wrestle. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> mule kick. Mule kick. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> This is why I do my best work. <laughs> if I'm pin him, is it match oh over? Yeah, if you pin him, the match is oh. over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Respect to the two best wrestlers in the world right here. This guy, he's tough. Probably got a little bit of weight on me, but he did pretty good. Take I that. believe in your bottom. <laughs> I believe Thank in you. your bottom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed. <laughs> Nobody told me down this year. <laughs> yeah. David Carr, behind the dirt, super dog condition. Let's go. I want to make sure this guy's reaching. So every time I want to get to my super dog, I want to be able to match it with heavy ties, some fakes, and some things like this. And now, once I feel like he's comfortable reaching here, boom, comfortable reaching, now I'm ready to go. I go to reach here with this hand, and I'm a lean, kind of like Spider-Man. You ever see a Spider-Man where he's like this? Mm. It's kind of lean. So I go here, touch, lean. This arm goes back pocket here. This hand that was on the mat is gonna grab that hip. I grab that hip. He's trying to grab my shoulder so he's gonna fall over. Boom. That's when I get my takedown. I go touch, lower my level, lower my level. Boom. Step two, this is a window of opportunity. I'm ducking my head underneath here. Step three is gonna be grabbing the hip. He's gonna be falling over me. Right here, touch, boom. Here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you do a super duck. All right, so far, thank you so much for this opportunity, David. Yeah. A couple last things. What do you think was the hardest wrestling practice for you of all time? Oh, all time? That's tough. I would say one, one time we had to have a bunch of little circles. I guess you can see them on the mat. There's these little circles. Mm -hmm. And we had a hand fight, do push-ups, and like drill really hard the whole practice. And then we had to do like short goes. And then after that, we had to do a lot of sprints and had to do body carries. But the only thing that made like, it was a Metcalf practice. It made it hard because he's like, if you don't find a partner, or if you do something wrong, you have to do like 15 or 20 push-ups every time you mess up. Oh. So if you drill bad, everyone has to do 15 push-ups. You switch partners during the hand fight, and you can't grab a partner, you gotta do 15 push-ups. So like that, and with him, like the expectation that you're hitting everything, like you're trying to be a national champ. There's like, you're hitting everything with a purpose and if he doesn't feel like you're meeting that standard, 15 push-ups, so wow. that was a hard practice. What do you think is your, what's your favorite meal for breakfast? Favorite meal for breakfast? Probably like eggs and bacon or oatmeal. Those are kind of my go-tos. Well, I, I, got, I got a more indirect question then. How are you feeling about pancakes? Are you a big pancake guy? Yeah, love pancakes. Well, let me tell you what, a little gift for you. We got some pancakes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we got some we got some loaded protein pancakes, so I can you can help thank cook you. that up. And I, I actually was super big this past year in putting just protein powder in my pancakes, but oh, of 20 grams of protein, protein right here. That's yeah. good. One last thing is, what would you say to a wrestler, uh, a younger wrestler aspiring to, uh, you know, be a Division One national champion? I would say uh, three things I think that are important. Number one, you want to make sure you're having fun. Wrestling is a hard sport. Um, at practice here at Iowa State, we always start with a game. Uh, we call it Bomb Squad. And if we don't play Bomb Squad, we do something uh, run and gun, which mm. you just have a ball, you're just trying to score. So we play those two games, um, and that makes it fun, because wrestling's hard. And uh, number two, I would say is uh, you gotta have, you have to have, you have to have goals. Um, I heard a quote one time that was like, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. So if you don't have any direction and your aim is nothing, you'll hit it every time. So when you have your goals, you're aiming at a goal and you're gonna be able to have directions and a plan and a vision. So uh, have fun, um, have your goals. And number three is just, if you love wrestling, you're gonna get a lot better at wrestling. So if you just love competing and growing, that's gonna be more important than loving like winning or losing. Because um, then you don't get too high or too low. Sure. So love the process, love wrestling, um, write down your goals and have fun. Awesome. Thank you. David Carr, guys. Thanks. Boom.